Shiny Pokemon are pretty iconic, and whether you openly hunt them or have just stumbled upon one randomly in-game, you've probably seen your fair share of Shinies over the years. But I've been curious, how well do people actually know Shiny Pokemon? Like, if I showed you the Gen 3 starter Pokemon and turned them all Shiny, would you be able to spot the fake Shiny that I snuck in among these three? Well, probably, right? I mean, these starters are pretty iconic, and a giant fake-looking blue Blaziken, who wouldn't notice that looking kind of weird? Not to mention that the real Shiny is, uh, <clears throat> it's pretty bad. Uh, but what if I made the questions harder and harder? Would you still be able to find the fake? Well, today I created a Shiny Pokemon challenge harder than I've ever done before, all to see how well you really know your Shiny Pokemon. And of course, I brought along two Shiny Hunters to take this quiz themselves with the single goal of making them question everything they thought they knew about Shiny Pokemon. Welcome to the Generation 3 Shiny Pokemon Quiz. The rules are insanely simple. For every fake shiny Pokemon you find in this video, you'll get one point. Highest points at the end of the video wins. So that fake shiny Blaziken from the intro? Yeah, that was actually question number one, and it was the easiest question of the quiz. Give yourself a point if you got that right. Mimic and Toast here have already warmed up, picked out Blaziken, and got their first point. Up next is question number two, and the first question in the easy section. This quiz starts pretty simple, but starts to get really tricky towards the end. Make sure to keep up with how many points you have and see where you end up in the shiny Pokemon knowledge rankings. Okay, the first easy question of the quiz is going to be a legendary question. You can probably guess where I'm going with this. Which one is the fake between Rayquaza, Kyogre, Deoxys, or Groudon? These are all sick. Okay, yes they are. These are all so sick. I picked some of the most banging shiny legendaries for this one, some classics in here. I'm ready to show my answer. Not I too am bad. also ready. I like this question. First of the easies, I will say it is pretty easy. Even if you don't shiny hunt, you, I know you've seen some of these shinies around and you can probably deduce what the right answer is. Mimic and Toast, what did you pick for question number two? <laughs> Ogre. <laughs> okay, you both pick B. <laughs> one for beauty and one for Boger. I will say Groudon looks kind of odd. If Kyogre wasn't so obvious, I feel like Groudon looks a little too boogery. Well, I've seen enough Aaron Cybertron Zang that I know what Groudon looks <laughs> <Yeah>. like. <laughs> <laughs> well, one was obviously a little bit wrong, and you guys are definitely right. Kyogre's Ooh. pink. Yay! The Boger is pink. That <laughs> shiny Kyogre would be so sick, right? But it's not real, unfortunately. The pink Kyogre is pretty iconic, though. I still like it. Yeah, yeah. I do too. Though the fake was modeled after Primal Kyogre's shiny, which is the black and gold, super, super crazy cool thing, and kind of fit in with the Rayquaza theme and stuff like that. I think it looks really cool. That is a lovely two points now for you guys. Woo. In the easy section, though, like, you know, as expected. I mean, surely we keep this up, right, guys? For question number three, we're having a purple and pink party. So Mimic, Ooh. you might like this question. All of these shinies are the classic bright purple and pink, except for one. Which one is fake? Wurmple, Whalmer, Snowrunt, or why not? <laughs> Whoa. I love it. This is a great question. Purple oh, and pink party. God. Now, I, before you guys write anything down, before you pick your answer, I just would like to say, <laughs> If you're subscribed to this channel, you watch my shiny hunting videos, <laughs> you better not get this wrong. That's all I'm gonna say. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I agree. <laughs> Just give me a second, guys. I'm actually creating a work of art right now. Okay, with good With my luck. answer. Okay. Well, when you guys are ready, let me see what you picked. It, just a little too small, I think. A little, a little on the scary <laughs> side, but I still can appreciate it. I really like it. I couldn't remember what color his eyes were, but shiny. Sorry, Noki, I guess I'm fake. I'm a fake fan. <laughs> fake fan. No, you guys both got it right. It's C. No, right, is not purple. As yeah. much as I want him to be purple, oh. it's icy blue. Hear me out. I think you should make some kind of picture with just a bunch of them, all different colors. And they're like sitting at a table, all eating together and just having a great time. Like the Last Supper, but with all snorts. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> nice job. Well done. Three for three so far on the Gen 3 Shiny Pokemon quiz. I'm just happy to have points right now. Zero misses. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting some false confidence right now because I'm going to start feeling really good and I just know the impending doom is coming. This, this is the quiz to do that, so. Yeah. Number four. You'll notice number four is in yellow. That means it's the last question of the section. So for this one, it's the easy section. Now, this question is special. 
In fact, the last question of every difficulty section is going to be special. It's fun. Okay. They will all contain shiny Pokemon using the original Gen 3 sprites. You will not Whoa. only need shiny knowledge for these questions, but you'll also need the knowledge of the Gen 3 sprites themselves to be fully confident. Shiny colors can change a little over the generations. Some might even look completely different, but this one is still easy. So go with your gut. Show them to me. Which one is the fake from the original games? Is it Flygon, Gardevoir, Latios, or Latias? Oh my gosh. Whoa. I love sprite art and I love shiny sprites, especially in like Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5. They look so good. These look really, really good. Yeah, they do. Can we please hear some Beatrice music during this question? Beatrice has made a return. Beatrice, Beatrice is here. A final easy question, a little bit harder than the others, but still, hey, we're still in the easy section. Kind of just a go with your gut type question. I'm ready. I went with my gut. Hope it's right. Are you having concerns, Mimic? I'm not. I'm not telling you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounded a little concerning, but I'm not, a little concerned. not too worried. I have said that I'm not too worried about you guys in a lot of quizzes before, and then you guys both get it wrong, so <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop talking. Well, I have my answer ready to go. Let's do it then. Final question of the easies. First pixel question, many more to come. What do you guys got? Oh, what? Um, Wait. Um, um, it seems like you picked a different answer. Why did you pick A? How do we have differing answers on the easy section again? Why did you pick B? Because Gardevoir is not purple. Flygon definitely does not have orange wings. What color of wings does he have? Because that's what the shiny looks like nowadays. I think they're like, what? I thought I had like pastel wings, like a whitish, pinkish gray. I, I think Gardevoir is way too similar for that to be a, a fake shiny. That is, I, that's like, that's normal. In my it, opinion, I could be wrong. It's a totally different color though. This is an easy question. I don't know how to help you out, bro. Whoa. <laughs> well, leave it in. I'm leaving it in. <laughs> Greg, leave it in. Leave it in. I don't want to overhype this question like I know it's right every single time because I get it wrong, but I'm pretty confident that it's A. I don't know how I get surprised every quiz that you guys have an argument like this in the easy section and something like this ends up happening. But here we go again. Toast is wrong. <laughs> what? Like how? That's a totally what different color. What do you mean what? <laughs> Gardevoir's blue. I've, I have caught 20 of these over the course of my shiny hunting career and you've seen them all. When has Gardevoir Wait, ever been what? purple? Well, no, that, what color's Flygon? That color! That no, it color. is not! Yes, it is! Wait, is that default Flygon? That's shiny Flygon. No, it is not. Oh, what do you uh, mean? That is God. not shiny Flygon. Oh, I am yeah. a, I am getting upset right now. <laughs> the anger is... Okay. Can anybody see where I'm coming from with Gardevoir? Maybe being a shiny different color. No! Than the no! That is like well... I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either. This is not looking this is not looking good. It's insane how confident I feel on the question that I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. It makes no sense <laughs> how that like, happens every single time. I I feel like I need to clarify that this isn't scripted or anything because of how <laughs> ridiculous it is every single time. Like, I don't know what else to say other than I'm surprised too every time. <laughs> But we move on now to the medium section. This section is where the casual player might start to get a little nervous, and the expert shiny hunter may begin to like start second guessing themselves, getting stuck between two answers. Number five. I like this question a lot because it's filled with the biggest and roundest boys I could find. <laughs> okay. Which one is the fake? Gulpin, Swala, Spiel, or Wismer? Oh my god. The roundest boys in Gen 3. I'm gonna say it. Gulpin on. My bad. Come on, man. Man, bad. really? I just toast? Had, I'm really? Sorry, really guys. Dude. Sorry, guys. I chose all these Pokemon because I could imagine myself wrapping my arms wide around all of them and like <laughs> squeezing them, especially this feel. Yes, I totally agree. I just want to give them a big squeeze I just and pop like, them. Pop them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. That's also what I was thinking. About. What are we thinking about the shinies? How are we feeling? First medium question. So you know, we're step up. Yeah. What are we thinking? They're vi vibrant. A lot of vibrant um, guys here. Vibrant to say the least. So I have my answer, but I'm a little bit nervous. Okay. Okay. Not too many crazy tricks going on here, but you know, be careful. I will say I feel pretty confident though. 
I don't want to say any more because usually that means I'm wrong. So I'm going to sit here <laughs> and enjoy that I feel pretty good about this question and leave it at that. Well, I'm excited to see what you guys <gasps> think the answer is whenever you're ready. Okay. Oh. 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 We've done oh. it again. Okay. <gasps> Different answers again. Mimic says D does not think Wismer has green feet. And Toast says B and draws. Don't say it. A Pac Man <laughs> ghost or something. <laughs> Who's right? I'm pretty sure Swallow is the same as Golpin. I could see that. I don't know. I th this is just the first time I've ever noticed Wismer's feet, and it it just seems weird. It's strange. And then I was looking at Swallow. That's who I almost changed the answer to. Yeah. I think Toast is right. I think I got this one wrong. Oh. Golpin and Steel are for sure right. Like I, I don't think there's any issues with those. Okay. I'm second guessing myself. I don't know. <laughs> that, that me saying that just made me get scared. Okay. <laughs> Before you guys freak yourselves out too much, the answer. Surely I don't miss two in a row on the easy thing. It's Swala. So it's Swala. Oh, it. Wizard's feet were green, and Swalot is kind of blue. I would say. Okay. Oh my. Original is purple. Fake is totally fake. There's no green in Swalot. The original Gulpin is green. So if you got tricked, that's probably why. But yeah. But this is how mediums are gonna go. So mm, these these are gonna be mediums, and now we're back to tied actually. So Mimic misses her first one in the medium. Toast comes back from a interesting mistake in the easy section, and we're even. Four to four. Thank you for your service, Swalot. Things are getting heated a little bit faster than I was anticipating this quiz, but I like that. That's what I like to see. And I also like to see Toast come back from his mistakes. I'm gonna be honest. I'm it's not just, I'm, I, I like to root for Toast when he messes up a lot. I just do. He's the underdog. Oh my god, thanks. Does that mean I get bonus points? <laughs> no bonus points. I also like to see you lose. It's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Number six. This one I made specifically for you to think a little bit more before you choose the answer. There's nothing really special about this question, except that just be, be a little careful. Which one is the fake? Salamence, Metagross, Solrock, or Lunatum? Be careful with this one. I, I can't say I was expecting to be this. Hmm. This is tricky. If you're looking at this first glance, intimidated, a little scared, remember it's a medium question. It's not too difficult, but you do need to think about this in a different way. Hmm. Well, I know at least one of them, so that's a start. I'm also pretty stuck. Good. I feel like I should know a certain number of these shinies, and I should be able to deduct which one is the fake off of that without knowing the actual fake. Okay. I'm ready. Me too. Pretty tough medium question. Then we can toast have their answers. Let's see them. Oh crab! Ooh, okay. Oh, That's I what would. I was deciding between. It was it was Lunatone. Not, not what I was anticipating to see. Um, okay. I could I... see different answers. This is not the pairing I expected to see at all. <laughs> Well, that's funny because I am in the same boat as Mimic that I don't actually know what Solomon's shiny yep. looks like. I was choosing between A and D. Yep, that, okay. was, <laughs> that was oh, not good. the intention of the quiz master. <laughs> I hope the viewers went down the path that I was trying to form with this question. But first, let me just show you the answer. It's Lunatone. Oh, no! It's wow. Lunatone. Ooh. What? With okay. actually pretty Dude. subtle differences. The differences are pretty subtleness. I would actually classify this as oh. a hard difficulty difference. Now, let me explain the thought process behind this question. Okay. Salamence and Metagross are two of the most iconic Gen 3 Pokemon and Shinies. You should know both of those, and I think most people do, so you rule those out immediately. The real test is the 50-50 between Solrock and Lunatone. And if you saw that Lunatone's eye was a little too saturated, a little too fake looking, that's what leads you to picking Lunatone. That's what I had planned. I did not anticipate you guys to just not remember Salamence of Shining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Toast takes the lead. Dang it. Toast Wait. takes Clip the it. lead. Clip oh it. my god, Clip He's it. up 5-4 with the Lunatone pick. Those fans are eating right now. And <laughs> they also are very nervous because the lead does not normally last very long. But we'll see. <laughs> we will see. And finally now we approach question number seven. Uh. And there's the yellow number again, which means it's time for another Gen 3 Sprite question. And as usual, all the shinies are exactly as they were back in the original Hoenn games, except for one fake. Which one is it? Electric, Manectric, Duskull, or Dusclux? Whoa. Whoa. The final medium question, Gen 3 Sprites only, just like back in the original games. Two Pokemon Evolution lines here. Some pretty great shinies. I, I really, really love these in Sprite form. But one is not real. 
These are vibrant. They are. They're very cool looking. Well, I can say that I'm worried about seeing a color wrong again. Like the same with the last sprite question. Sounds like a personal problem. It yep. is. <laughs> I have an answer I want to pick, but I am thinking that that's the answer you want me to pick. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> no, I'll get you one day. Get you one day. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, old man. <laughs> Quick little hint from the quiz master. It is a medium question, which means there's not too much trickery going on here. The veterans will get this one instantly. I'll say that. I, I think I'm ready. Okay, I guess I'm ready. I wrote it really tiny. All right, good luck on the second sprite question. What'd you guys pick? No! That's a tiny D. Ooh, a Once really, again. really <laughs> tiny D for Mimic. And Ooh. Toast with a confident A. Different answers, not a good sign for one of you. Crap. I was 100% with you on Desolops. At least in the recent gens, he's way more like dull. dull. Yes, yes, 100%. Yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure Electric and Manetric aren't the same. I could see that. I just feel like D is a bait. Like I felt like I was made to choose it from the quiz master, but it just, there's no way they used to be the same color like that. I just don't buy that. Well, if it's if it's Desolops, I will not, okay, I'll be upset, but I won't be that upset. Because that's a, that's a good guess, I think. Mimic, you pretty much had it spot on about Death Swaps, that it was, in fact, a bait. It was no! really that red. No! And Electric's just solid blue. Like, he's Wait, not gray at all. That is way blue. Yeah, he's, he's never <laughs> been okay, gray. That... So if you knew Whoa. Electric Shiny in general, you knew that was fake. But the bait was the Dusclops and the Duskull. They were so bright back in the day, and now they're really, really dull, especially Dusclops. And I'm sorry, Mimic, you have fallen for the 50-50 trap of the medium questions. Jeremy, the lead's getting bigger. <laughs> He's going to get overconfident. No. I, there's, if there's any quiz that I have to win, it's Gen 3. Come on. Come on. The hard section. Second half of the quiz, this is where I get to really start to uh, play my tricks. The casual fan or the non-shiny hunters, it might start to be a guessing game for you guys. Good luck to everyone watching. The veterans, you might start to sweat a little bit here. Number eight. Which one is the fake shiny Pokemon? Is it Lampearl, Darpedo, Azuril, or Carvana? Get Azuril in that stupid line out of these questions. <laughs> oh I hate God. seeing them on these questions. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Who when is I Carvana? <laughs> Who is Carvana? <laughs> That's not a good sign for Mimic. <laughs> I can't say that I've seen Carvana shiny ever. When I was making this question, I was like, oh, this will be a fun water type question, but Azrael is not a water type. Azrael is just normal in Gen 3. Wait, oh. what? When did yeah, that change? Did it, it change? No, it, Azrael's never been a water type. Azrael's normal, and then it eventually became what? normal and fairy. But yeah, Meryl is water. Azrael's just normal. <laughs> These are not really popular shiny hunting targets, I would say. I don't like Sharpedo. He I've is... never liked him, ever. I agree. I don't know why, but he just bothers me. Yes. I don't like him either. Let's go, Sharpedo Hate Club. <laughs> I think a lot of the like bad guy trainers had him. That might be which it. Which made me not like him. I think that's it. It's like the Golbat effect. You know what I mean? Where like yes. all the bad guys had Golbat and so they just become annoying. It's even so though, annoying. Well, you know what? I grew up and I started to love the Crobat line. I'm gonna be honest. So maybe maybe I'm doing a disservice to Sharpedo. I need the Sharpedo what? fans in the in the comments to come out and convince me why he's cool. I have never given him a chance, but I will. I'm ready. While you guys were chatting, I was just uh. Well, I don't want to give anything away. I don't want to say what I know and what I don't know. Is that a, is that a little bit of confidence in this question? Maybe. Doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Mimic's ready. What about you, Toast? How you feeling? I feel like feelings that have been felt before. Mm -hmm. But I have something written down. They're both ready. The first hard question, how are you going to do on this one? I'm curious to see what you guys picked. What do we got? How many are we gonna mess up? Different answers again. Mimic says B, Sharpedo. Underside is white, I think. Like his belly area. It's we're like seeing it, it as a light a... pink, but I think it's white. Okay. Okay. I alright. Okay, well you not knowing what I'm talking about just means that I got it wrong. That's great. <laughs> I don't I don't see a pink on my screen, but I, I can see what she's talking about. I don't think I would have picked that myself. <laughs> These colors looked way too similar to each other, I guess. With Azrael being green, Sharpedo and Glam Pearl being like a purplish pink. And then I felt like Carvana was the only odd one out. I also don't know his shiny. I don't either. I kind of just winged it with him and just am praying. 
I almost changed my answer to Azuril because having white cheeks is weird. <laughs> Wait, white cheeks is weird? I didn't even look at the cheeks. No way, right? <laughs> show it. Oh, please just show it. <laughs> it's over. It's Azuril. Whoa! It's Carvana. What is that? Okay, that's kind of, actually kind of cool. This is the worst. Carvana, you were pretty much exactly right. I made Carvana fit the color theme of all the other Pokemon. He's not green and purple. He's boogery green and light blue, which I actually actually really like his shiny. Wait, I think it's pretty it's actually cool. Yeah. The gold fins. Cool. Wait, Carvana's cool. Carvana is cool. I'm having a great time this quiz. But it was D, which means Toast is right again. This is a crazy quiz. Toast no one has ever seen easy before. And then just rinses it all the way up to <laughs> three above oh, Mimin. Man. Mimic is going to have a really, really tough time coming back from this. It might actually just be Toast versus the audience at this point with what? how Mimic is just getting it's destroyed. So All I'm saying, multiple quizzes of pent-up anger that I have to let out. Question number nine. It only gets harder. In this one, you have to find the fake between Dustox, Utifly, Ninkata, and Surskit. We're getting buggy with it again. Oh, buggy with it. Someone commented that we didn't get buggy with it in the Gen 2 quiz, and I, I know. was like, are you kidding me? How did I forget to go buggy with it? So we're, we're going buggy with <laughs> no it this way. time, baby. No way. Bunch of shiny bugs. Pretty interesting shinies. I, I really like the Gen 3 Pokemon and shinies because they, this is where they start to get kind of weird. Like, the cool colors start to come out and, like, the weird shades of things. Like, a lot of the time in, like, Gen 1, it's, like, pink, blue, green. What do you guys think? Oh, I don't know. I wrote something down and I already erased it. Did you also have like a weird urge to pick one of them? Like, yeah. Right when you saw them? Okay. Yep. I did too. And I, I like, I don't want to pick it just instantly, but I kind of want to. All I'm going to say is Surskit is really cute. It's because he's yeah. blushing or whatever. Yes. Yeah. That's really cute. <laughs> that, that blush on his cheeks is he's adorable. so funny. And he like slides across the water in the game and stuff. <laughs> it's so cool. Bug enthusiasts are crawling to answer this question. They know it. <laughs> I know they know it, but it is hard. Mimic, no pressure, but you <laughs> really have to get this one right, or it's just going to be a question of how much you get roasted by the comments. How did it go so far downhill? I hate to be that guy, but I, I hope I just win by a lot. You, I'm not trying. I am I sorry. Am... I'm sorry, but that's just how I feel. Oh my god, Toast gets all of them wrong all the time. Every <laughs> quiz, I have to read through the comments saying that. Toast is on his villain redemption arc. I'll show all of you. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I'm ready. Same. Show me your streams on the buggy question. What'd you pick? That was not my gut answer. My what? gut answer was C. How did you keep the gut answer? I don't know. I don't please, know. Please, please keep the lead going. Oh my god, please. This this is the most different answers I think we've ever seen on a quiz. I wouldn't even say that I'm confident in this answer. I'm just this quiz feels so different whenever you're winning. <laughs> like I'm not trying to be toxic, but like that it actually just feels completely different. Yeah. Because there's like not the pressure. Yeah. What about dust? Yeah. Why do you think it's dust socks? I don't know if it's the wings should be all brown. Like, I don't think they're that light on the shiny, but I think it's something with the wings, if I had to guess. And Mimic thinks Beautifly's nose is in purple, the little <laughs> straw on its nose. Ew. Yep. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> what, what color is it? I couldn't tell you. It just, I don't remember it matching the rest of the Beautifly. Well, with this answer, we will be continuing the nuclear run of oh! Toast, getting every question right so far, except for the easy. Dust Sox has red accents, <laughs> not green. I was, just, I was just wrong about so the you, wings. You were wrong. Yeah, the wings are, I was the wings are wrong. Right. <laughs> but the red doesn't really change from the original to the shiny. I guess it gets a little more dull, maybe a little lighter, but it stays yeah. generally the same. Everything around him changes. Wings turn that cool autumn brown color. Beautifly's nose was purple. And it looked weird. So Mimic is now battling with people who are learning about Pokemon for the first time by watching this video. <laughs> and Toast is fighting the regular shiny hunters. <laughs> I see yellow. And the golden number appears again. Question number 10, the last of the hard, and the gold number means we are on to the final hard question, Gen 3 sprites only. Original games, you have to find the fake between these pixelated shinies. Which one isn't real? Is it Trapinch, Vibrava, Spoink, Whoa. or Grumpy? Another question with two Pokemon lines, but four answers. How much do you know about shiny Pokemon evolving in Gen 3. What happens? How do colors change? How do colors stay the same? What parts are different? Bunch of wacky and weird colors here, and obviously three of them are completely real. 
I will say one of these look a little bit more sick than the others, but I think that I like all of them a lot. I like these two. Okay. I think I have a guess, but I I don't know. I'm I'm throwing it on the wall and I'm hoping that it sticks. Okay, ready? <laughs> it was giggling again. I can only imagine what that means. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Two answers. What do we have for the final hard question of the quiz? Oh my gosh. Different answers again. Wait, C? Spoink? I feel like that's a really weird color for them to use back then. Like his body color? Yeah, they don't normally use that nude pink color. But I was also thinking about A to make it match more with B. Yeah, I think Traverse is more closer to actual teal or lighter blue. Like, I, I don't remember that color at all, personally. You well, don't remember that color for the back then for, or for right now? No, I, like, I don't remember Traverse being that color ever. I think that is the color of trap inch right now. I don't know. All I'm saying is know. that if a Pokemon was that color, I think I would I would remember maybe. Toast. Okay. Well, first of all, Toast, I want to just clarify. I love the drawing. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I noticed there's not much discussion about B or D. What do we think about the evolved forms? Are we thinking there's no issues there, or? I feel like Grumpig looks like he's sick, and so I feel like that is plausible for Gen Three. Agree. And then Babrava looks super cool, and so I want it to be real. Why? Well, I... I also think the blue is similar to Flygon's blue, which is why I didn't think much of it. Yeah. Yep. And that's why it's in the hard section, because that's not what it looks like. <laughs> what? Wait, I thought the normal one was orange. No. Wait. Normal Wait, Vibrava what? is green, shiny is Whoa. orange, and completely different. The f I think the fake looks awesome. And it the does. reason why this is tricky is because obviously that's Flygon's shiny color. And we just had pixelated Flygon. And that's why I put him in the quiz, by the okay. way, for this question to make this question even more difficult. Okay. You are tricky. You're a trickster. And that trap inch yep. is real. That's really shiny trap inch. It's dark green. I'm pretty sure he's been on a quiz before, by the way. Wait, what? Okay, well, in the end, we both got it wrong, so that like, gets kind of chill, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> congrats on both missing the final question of the hard section. Mimic, this is a Atrocious. disgusting <laughs> section for you. This is the worst I... I've ever done. Wait, did you miss every hard? Yes. Mimic. Wow, what a roller coaster. <laughs> roller coaster of ups and downs, and for some people, downs only. Down? Um. <laughs> this quiz is master section. I cannot overstate how difficult this one is. If you've taken the previous quizzes, you know the master sections are hard. This is literally the hardest quiz I have ever made. And it all starts with question Number 11, the first master question. All you have to do is find the fake shiny Pokemon. Three real, one fake. Which one is it? Relicanth, Gorbis, Phoebus, and Crawdont. That is crazy. Completely lost. Absolute. Hold. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Maybe three out of four lost. Four water type shiny Pokemon. Rare, elusive, weird. They're all here and they're all from Gen 3's water-filled region. One of these shinies is not real. You will not find it in the game. If you shiny hunt spend hundreds of hours, one of these will never pop up in your game. What did I change? What do you guys think? There's one specific aspect of one of the Pokemon that's sticking out to me. I don't know if it's because I haven't seen the shiny before or if it's because I'm just a genius and that's right. The issue is I know Magikarp is golden, but I always compare Magikarp to Golden to Phoebus as shiny that I think I know, but I also don't know. Is that just me? Yes, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Mimic, you've had a rough time this quiz. Yeah. Now, your fight with Toast may be over. Yeah. But your fight with your dignity is not. <laughs> <laughs> you can still come back and make a name for yourself by getting some of these masters right. Yeah. If you can nab one or two of these, I'd call that a win. You think you can do it? Um, I think that I can get lucky. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a lucky guess in there. Uh, okay. That, I don't know if that fixes the dignity issue, but that does, <laughs> get, that'll get you a point. I just changed my answer. Oh, I'm taking my glasses off. Four eyes. My glasses too. <laughs> so do I. Are you just pulling everyone in the call? I'm ready. I, okay. I'm ready too. It's a tough one. I know it's a tough one. And there might be a few of you that have picked up on what went down. And if you did, good for you. But let's see if Toast and Mimic have any idea what's going on. Oh my god. Different I was going to pick D. Again. D, no, D was the other one I was going to pick. Different answers. 
That means if Mimit backtracking <laughs> quickly <laughs> back to D. No. So if Mimit gets D right, then that means I was also right. Because I no. No, no, okay. no, no, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Mimic, answer this honestly. Is it Crawdon's lips that are weird? The purple part? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I was right. <laughs> I think the quiz master would make that purple on Crawdon in between two Pokemon that also have that purple to make it blend in. But for my eyes, it stood out. Okay. If Crawdon is right, then yes. Obviously, I'm smart enough to know that. But I think Relicanth is uh, not that color. I also thought that, but this is a master question. Why would the whole Pokemon be an entirely different color? That's good thinking. However, so I think the like bluish tealish is more faded red. I think Phoebus looks fine. I was thinking about choosing Vorobis. That Pokemon came out of nowhere. I thought maybe the white stripes on the ends were kind of funny, but I don't know. Well, I'm not going to confirm or deny an answer yet, but I will say no one has even come close to the correct reasoning for this question. Not That's even within a mile. That's perfect, isn't That's it? That's crazy. That's just the master section, isn't it? And those who know, they know, and they're probably laughing. And what's even funnier is that Toast got it right. <laughs> Wait. The only difference was you I so removed lucky. the red hexagon on the What Rocket. is that hexagon? This Why is, is the best there? quiz I've ever done in my life. Is it, what is going on? Mimic has missed another question, and Toast has just blindly gotten one of the hardest questions in the quiz. Relicanth has a random red hexagon stuck to his body. Why? I don't know. I took it off and it looks pretty good still. <laughs> Never ever in my life did I know that. No this color is... changes in this question at all. I can't all. believe it. I can't believe it. You're telling me that I'm so smart and genius <laughs> at Pokemon that I can remember a red pixel and know that it's missing. I don't know how I do it. I hope that gave you guys a good taste for what's to come in this master section. That was a fun one, and it's only just beginning, because now we're on to question number 12. What could possibly come after the Relicanth Hexagon of Doom? It's another similar structure to what we've been doing. Find the fake between Poochiena, Mightyena, Halo, and Swellow. Food. Two Pokemon lines, very minimal changes, if at all. Nah. What is going on here? There are way too many things to point out between all what of these that could be different. could be different here? I feel so lost. Obviously, there's differences between the two evolutions. So which one's normal and which one's not? Does anyone actually know? Viewers watching, I know you don't know this. Don't even try to tell me you know this in the comments. <laughs> I, every answer looks like it can be right and wrong. I have an answer, I mean, for what it's worth. Not much. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> I think we're going to pick the same answer for this one, Mimic. I doubt it. I, I'm... Wow. She's in the dumps. She's in the dumps. <laughs> okay. When you guys have your answers, let me see what you picked. It's a Christmas miracle you guys picked the <laughs> oh same my. answer. I knew we were going to pick the same answer. I said that. You, you were right. Yo, you were go right. back in the VOD, like I said. <laughs> no way he has green feet. Like, that's so that's strange. What I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Poochiena, I think, has red eyes in the shiny. I, I have an itch that that's correct. And then I also have an itch that it changes to blue for Mightyena. I agree. I don't remember the nose changing to blue on Mightyena. I feel like that's really weird. However, I feel like the green feet are more weird. Also, nobody commented on my picture. Do you guys like it? I actually really like that picture. That's actually pretty impressive. Yeah. I think that one ups oh. a lot of my art that I made in the past. Although I would Around give, tail. I would give less bird vibes with that and a little bit more duck Quack. vibes. I could see that. <laughs> I see some webs between those toes. <laughs> so you both think it's Talo, and you both think the green feet are wrong. Yeah. No way that Pokemon's feet are green, right? Well, mm. this answer, funnily enough, is Talo. Yeah. What? But the feet are green. What? The what? claws <laughs> are bright white and yellow. The claws are not black. The feet are completely green. You guys completely lucked out. Let's go! In picking the correct <laughs> answer. Let's go! This is easy! It I'll is take Taylor. It! <laughs> that is weird. I never weird. noticed that the feet being green compared to Swallow was weird, but it is weird. But yeah. that's that's real. Like look that's at Taylor's funny. actual feet. They're blue. Yeah, yeah, what? He is an oddball. That's weird. But Swallow's talons are black, and the fake Taylor's talons are also 
pretty black. If you saw those talons and got sussed out, congrats, you figured it out and you got it right. Another super, super hard one, specifically the Puchiana and Mightyena, that's so weird. Why do they switch, first of all? Second I of all, know. if you're familiar with Gen 3 sprites, what makes this even harder, especially for people who know their stuff, is in Gen 3, Puchiana's eyes are blue, not red. They change to red in Gen 4 and onwards. I don't know why. What? A weird way to get both points right on the master section, but congrats, you guys got one. For some reason, I still don't think that there's going to be a way for Mimic to come back from this. <laughs> but the viewers battling Mimic and Toast have a few more questions to see if they can overtake him. And this last question in the master section, before the bonus, we see the yellow number again, meaning we're moving over to the final Gen 3 sprite question. Just like the OG games, you will only see sprites pulled from the Hoenn region in this question. And all you have to do is find the fake. Are you ready? <sighs> I'm ready. Show it to me. It's a weird one. There could be differences all the way down to a single pixel. Ooh. Which one's fake? Is it Sableye, Hecleon, Slacking, or Delcaddy? What? Oh. Down to a pixel. Anything goes here. No rules. Everything's on the table. The final question for all the ego. Do you guys have any inklings? I do, actually. Really? Yeah, I do. For whom? I can't say at this moment, but I'll tell you about it later. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with his gut. You can't have an answer that fast. That's a fast, fast answer for a master section. Some very strange Pokemon up here with some weird colors all over the place. A yeah. lot of things I could change around. Okay, well, Mimic being done with her question made me uncomfortable, even though I already pretty much won. So why am I uncomfortable? <laughs> Toast has a 400-point lead and still is going to feel defeated if he misses his question. I have, like, a guess that I, I could be right. Toast, you're not going to go out with an L, are you? Stop Come that. You stop Surely it. you're going to win that. this one and this question. I'm going with the motto of down to the pixel. Okay. So I am taking my answer off of that. The answers are locked in. The final master question before the bonus. Number 13, the OG Gen 3 Hoenn Sprite question. Mimic and Toast, what did you pick? No way you picked Sableye. Okay, well then I'm wrong. I'm just wrong then. Wow. Wow. I... What about Sableye? His eyes? His eyes look weird. Okay, his eyes look weird. What his, is going his on? His gym in the middle. I don't think it's green. I, I think that regular Sableye has a green gym in the middle and I think that shiny it, I know for sure shiny it changes and I can't remember what it changes to interesting I thought it was red for normal table eye mm. so then it changing to green makes sense either way Del Caddy I, I just don't think it has purple eyes I don't have much to go off of I'm just pretty sure the eyes are not purple and they're a different color I thought the purple eyes looked I thought they looked good and they so looked I thought they good. looked normal no I'm, I'm probably just coping right now but I'm pretty sure they look weird <laughs> I really don't like that you pick Sableye because you know Sableye a lot more than me. Mimic so. does know Sableye. No comments on Kecleon or Slacking. Both pretty strange Pokemon too. They are, but they're they're like, I don't know. They're too strange for me to be able to pick up on something so small. I feel you. But at the end of the day, would I simply change one tiny pixel of color for the final master question? Would I really do that? Isn't that just too easy? Wouldn't it make much more sense to instead make something look so real and show you that the real is actually the weird and fake? Wait, what? It's Sableye, and not for the reason you probably thought. Sableye is brown in Gen 3. That's, that's Ron just- Ron Sableye. I won the quiz! No, Shut you up, didn't. no you did not. No you didn't. No, you did not. <laughs> you did not win the quiz. I deserve to win. Mimic that somehow is, feels like you won the quiz. That is, I feel bad. I won, Toast guys. Lost. I won, though. I was just crying. No, that was you won probably 30 minutes ago. <laughs> That's such such a weird change. I was this wrong about the gym. Might be, yeah, you were totally wrong about the gym. His gym is red. Yeah, I was right is. about that. That means I was right about the question. And the fake is, is what Sableye looks like now. So if you knew real Sableye, you might not think twice about this fit. That's literally what he looks like. I'm feeling good though, so. My ego doesn't feel good, yeah, what the heck. <laughs> but it's not over yet. While the battle between Mimic and Toast may be over, the battle between <laughs> viewers and contestants is not. There is still one more point up for grabs with the classic bonus question. 
and it's going to flip the rules on its head. In this bonus question, we are finding the real shiny. I'm going to repeat that. There's going to be a ton of fakes. You just have to find the real one. You guys ready? Yep. Yes. This one's special. I'm not even going to say anything about it. I'm just going to show you. Find the real one. You have 10 seconds, by the way. What? Find uh... the real one? <laughs> Pick the number associated with the Pokemon that you believe to be the real authentic shiny. There are seven fakes. Three seconds. Uh, that went by fast. Yeah, good. Two, I'm ready. one. Okay, I'm good. Pencils down. It's time to show your answers. Ah, oh, crap. I almost picked four. I almost picked two. <laughs> Oh no. Different answers. Mimic says four, Whiskash. Toast says two, Mr. C Dot. Which one was it? It's time to remove some Pokemon. It's not Ralts. Okay. okay. It's not Chimeco. Yep. I almost picked Chimeco. It's not Nosefass. Yup. Not Grovile. How, how did the other last one say it? <laughs> it's not Cacnea. What? There's no way this is happening. It's not C Dot. <laughs> It's not Anorith, it's oh, Whiskash! No, no. I won again! No, you didn't! You still lost. <laughs> Mimic, I need to clarify, you still lost the quiz. But Mimic got it right, the bonus Woo. is number four. Congrats to Toast for his first generation quiz and... Spin. I'm waiting for the spin too. Of course. He's spinning! Yeah, He's spinning! He I'd like to thank all of my Gen 3 fans. Thank you all for coming. I'm glad that I could take the dub. Well done. Okay, so the quiz is not over because I'm talking like I won and now uh, there's question marks on my screen. There's still one more question. How many points is it worth? Surely it's not worth any points. He's gonna start sweating really bad. How many points is it worth? And to make it extra fun, <laughs> let's make this one worth. No, 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 let me know in the comments and you get a big ego boost because I'm not gonna say anything. Find the fake between cast form, cast form, cast form, <laughs> and cast form. I love these guys. I, I love uh... them, love them, love them. Well, I don't know. To make this fun, you guys can work together. Yo. Okay. Wait, I like that. Can you guys deduce what I did this question? Arguably the hardest question, or not if you're a giant cast form fan, but you guys work together. No points, just ego. Okay. Mimic. Yep. What do you think about B? I think the upper half looks right. I'm a little concerned with the lower half, but I, it's probably right. I think so too. Good, we're on the same page. I just had to double check. I think that A is also right. Between C and D, that's I also, don't know. that's where I'm leaning as well. I know the normal form of these. I think you want to lock in D? I would. All right, we're going to lock in D. After a long discussion, Mimic and Toast have come together as friends <laughs> and bonded over Past Form Snowy Edition, D being the fake shiny. And after all that time, <laughs> The fake was none of them. What? You, you they were did all not real. just do that. What is wrong with You're you? You're lying. Go to the next slide. Go to the next slide. <laughs> there is no next Go slide. Go to the next slide. You're That's lying. That's the end. They were real. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. What? Oh, we talked for at least ten minutes. <laughs> what is up with that? What is up with you?